Welcome students to TRPS Biology Lab. Today, you are we are going to dissect the Hibiscus flower. So let us all begin with the dissection. Let me introduce you to the apparatus. This is a magnifying glass. This is the watch glass. Here we have the scalpel. This is a needle. This is the forcep. This is the glass slide. And, and definitely we require the hibiscus flower. Students, the aim of today's experiment is to separate the parts of a hibiscus flower. So let us begin. This is a hibiscus flower. I am going to take the scalpel and separate the sequence. As we can see, the small leaves surrounding the outer area, these are called the sequence. As you can see, this hibiscus flower has five sepals in it. So students, let us dissect the hibiscus flower. Here, I have a hibiscus flower, which is not yet moved. Let us dissect this flower. Students, this is called the calyx. It is also known as the sepals. It protects the flower when it is in the bud stage. As you can see, these bright petals, which are also known as corolla, it is colorful as it has to attract birds and bees for the process of pollination. As you can see, these bright colored petals are also called corona. The function of this is to attract the birds and bees for the process of pollination. Now students, with the help of this forcep, I am going to dissect the petals. Okay students, as you can see, I have already removed the petals. Now we are going to see the pollens. As we can see students, over here, this is the filament. This is the anther on which we can see pollen grains. This constitutes of androsium, that is the male reproductive parts of a flower. Done. Now students, let's take a look at the stigma. As we can see over here, the top portion of this flower is called the stigma. Let us take a look at the style. Okay students, now as you can see, I have separated the tissue. Now, over here, we can see this is the style. This is the style. This is the stigma. And here is the ovary. Now, let us take a look at the cross section of this ovary to find where the ovules are there. After dissecting the ovary, I can see the ovules over here. So students, that was all about the different parts of the hibiscus flower. I hope you have learned something new and I will see you in the next class.